or one emergency away from poverty in this country right now. So what are your plans and proposals to immediately affect living wages, sanitation systems, voting rights, and all of these poverty issues that are all interconnected uh, to, to say, in fact, uh, that scarcity is a lie and, and we can actually I, uh, end poverty. I think, Reverend, um, this is what I've been focused on since I was a superintendent of schools for the Denver Public Schools, a large urban school district in this country. Uh, and this is what I've been focused on since I've been in the Senate. The example I gave earlier, the American Family Act, which raises uh, the, the uh, child tax credit up to $3,200 a year, pays it out monthly, not annually. The folks that have looked at it say that it will cut childhood poverty in America by almost 40 percent and end, as I said earlier, $2 a day poverty. I would triple the earned income tax credit for the same reason, because I think that we have to make work pay again in this country. We've made it too hard for people to work. There's a reason why our labor participation rates are so much lower than other countries in the world that have the kind of payments that I'm talking about doing. And, uh, and I think we can make the investments in infrastructure and other kinds of things that you talked about if we shift the priorities away from $5 trillion for the wealthiest people in America and $5.6 trillion for the wars in the Middle East, that would go a really long way. Can I, can I ask just a quick follow-up? How would you do that? You're in the United States Senate. You know uh, the, uh, the, the way that it is run currently by um, Senator McConnell. And even when he was Senate Minority Leader, he very liberally, uh, with small